Okay. Anyway, so I just pasted it in place uh, what I had in the clipboard. I'm going to delete that out, paste in place one more time. And now when we roll over, oh man, what, what happened there? Okay, that, uh, that little problem almost stumped me there for a good five minutes. And I remembered something that uh, we can also go with a roll over here, um, which tends to actually helps out a little bit with this problem. Uh, what's going on, if it's not um, obvious, which <laughs> it really wasn't to me at first, is that um, we are, are kind of evaporating our little hit area when we now uh, roll over to frame two because of the animation. Uh, think about it like this. We were using this highlighted layer uh, as a kind of hit area, okay? Because remember, uh, what's triggering the um, you're, you're being over this object is this square right here all right so then if we were rolling over that but then jumping to frame two well you can see that since we're animating this in there's no data or no rollover data at that point so then it's immediately saying hey you actually you rolled out of that so now let's go over here to frame one um, the rollover and roll out um, tend to mysteriously help but what really uh, kind of solves this problem for us is to leave this hit area here at all times. So what I'm going to do is just create another layer, uh, drag this um, kind of dummy box down here to the bottom. So that's going to stay on there no matter where we are in this timeline. Okay, and if I do that for all of them, and if I light a candle and pray a little bit, I think we might um, have solved what should have been a very simple menu is now somehow ended up being a little bit complex. Okay, now, hey, you can't argue with uh, results, can you? All right, so let's uh, let's get even crazier with this. And I'm going to double click inside of, well, I'll do the same thing to all these, but let's just go inside the hobbies one. Um, instead of this frame on frame three here, let's go Actually, we could slide that over. Well, let's just get rid of it in general. Um, I'm going to copy this, okay, on frame two, paste it on frame four, uh, three, and then duplicate it. And we're going to use this as kind of the opposite so that when you roll out, um, you'll see an animation on, on that side of it too when it, when it goes away. So again, sirens going off, symbol, duplicate symbol, okay. And we'll call this Animate Highlight 2. Um, double click on it. Okay. And this should be easy enough to reverse. All we want to do is slide this frame. Okay. Out that way some. Then we'll take this frame right here. So we're, we're just replace or just flip flopping those. Uh, we do need to put our classic tween back in. And then we don't want that to stay on that final frame. What we want to do is drag this over one. And then let's just hit F7 right there. So that will totally go away. All right, and now let's go and copy this symbol. So I'm copying it. I'm going to go jump over here to this one, get rid of that, paste that in there, click on this, delete it, paste that on in, and then let's go over to our actions. And I'm going to, uh, in this case, I'm going to comment out. Oh, well, actually, I was messing around with something that, that did say three before there. I'm going to comment this out. And to do that, you can click right here. So we're not no longer using those. And then change that to three. Okay, so now, and then when I get rid of it, or I move away, it goes like that. Um, one thing we need to do, though, is on frame three, uh, made, make the uh, color change back to what it was before. Actually, there's a couple options here. We could, um, since we are just playing around, let's make that go to and play three. Okay, double click inside of here. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Let's see. We, so what I'm thinking is we could play it out this way and then have it jump back to frame one. That's still probably not as good, though, as just <laughs> clicking right here and and changing the color back. Let's do that. Um, so yeah, let's just make that white. Uh, 
I mean, it's still not a bad idea to have it play out some and then on a frame over here have it jump back to frame one because then you are at least ensuring that the, the button does eventually go back to frame one because in the setup that we just did, um, after the initial publish and then after you initially roll over something, then you're just toggling back and forth between frame one and two. Well, that's not really a problem. It's just that, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, actually, come to think of it, let's say if we were to just delete out these frames right here. All right, so we're telling the, the button to go to and play frame three. Um, it's just going to come out here, and then eventually when it comes to the end of its timeline, it will just repeat back to one, in which case it'll stop right there. So either way, it kind of doesn't matter at this point. That's uh, that is how that is working. And you know what? Since I've kind of gone and, and uh, done some things and then deleted other things and, and my, you know you just saw me comment out that code, what I might do is I might save out this file as um, kind of a in a version or in a state where we had it without those animated rollovers. Um, plus two, that would give you um, a version with just where it says mouse over here, mouse out and, and, and all that. Um, just so you kind of have some progress files through there. And I, I think probably actually right now is a good time uh, to go ahead and do that. And I will come back in uh, part two. And uh, again, this is this turned out to be a lot more basic stuff than I thought it was going to be at first, um, which of course is always good for the uh, new developer out there, which is always also very boring for you tried and true um, learners. So we'll have something much more exciting in uh, part two. Actually, I remembered right as I was wrapping things up there that there is uh, something else I should talk about here, which is, and I put this in the wrong folder, uh, this traditional button um, symbol. And if you are longtime users of Flash, you might still be using um, a traditional button symbol uh, to do your menus and things like that. And there's, I guess there's really nothing wrong with doing that. Um, I, I think probably one day um, this button type will be um, totally deprecated. It's, it's kind of not the recommended way of doing things, but it could save you a little bit of time and, and uh, it is worth going over. Let me open up the finished version, which um, is the version you guys saw last. I did save out a, a copy of things that were non-animated. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let me paste in one of the uh, buttons that we had before. I'm also going to uh, duplicate it, or just copy it, I should say, uh, break it apart uh, so I just have the text that I can work with here. And I'm going to uh, select it, go over here to uh, convert to symbol, and you can see that um, previously we had the movie clip type, now we have just a regular uh, button type here. Let's call this uh, traditional button. Click OK. And then let's uh, double click inside of here and you've got the over, down, and hit states, okay? So there's just only four frames in um, your movie clip now. So we're going to go to, um, actually we can hit F6 on all of these, which just creates a keyframe for all of them. Actually that last one we didn't really need to. That's the hit area, which we were kind of using, uh, or actually we were putting in ourselves with this um, with this black highlight uh, on the bottom most layer. We could go ahead and copy that if we wanted, might as well. And let's hit F7 right here, paste that, and move it back into play. All right. And on our overstate, well, let's go ahead and bring in some of our animated stuff as well. Okay, so I'm going to go and, as best as I can, select that symbol, double click into here again, hit F7, paste that in. It's kind of hard to see where that'll end up, but it's okay. All right, uh, let's just go ahead and, and, and publish it out at this stage. All right, so you can see that without doing any coding, <laughs> that's kind of nice, isn't it? We, um, I'm just gonna tint this. 